the relationship between the area A of a circle, so there's the area A of a circle, and its circumference is given by the following, which is K times C squared, where C is the circumference. So what do we know about circles? Well, we know that area is always equal to pi r squared. And we know that circumference is always equal to 2 pi r. Now you'll notice, hey, I put that in parentheses. Why? Because we're squaring it. And you always want to distribute this exponent to each of the individual elements. So doing that and keeping k out here by itself, it's not part of the square over here, we get 4 pi squared r squared and times k. So put k over there. And of course, the left-hand side doesn't change at all. It's pi r squared. So what are we going to do? We're going to simplify. Right away, we can divide r squared by both sides. And if we divide r squared over here, that, of course, is gone. And r squared over here, that is gone. So now we're left with pi equals 4 pi squared times k. And from here, it shouldn't be too difficult to solve. We divide both sides here by pi squared, because again, we're trying to solve for k. So we want to isolate k. And that gets rid of a pi on the top, leaves us a pi on the bottom. And then we also want to divide that 4. Because again, we're isolating, looking for k. We're dividing both sides by 4. Let's extend that out a little bit. Put a 1 on top there, divide this side by 4, and we get 1 over 4 pi. Therefore, writing this a little bit more legibly, 1 over 4 pi is equal to k. And that is answer choice A.